Hello everyone, my name is Dennis. Welcome to another video, and it's another November where brands give out a percentage or some percentage of their products, and it's called Black Friday. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to design this nice Black Friday design with Corel Draw 2020, and it's coming up. subscribe and click on the bell so you won't miss any video so just of recent i upgraded to corel draw 2020 and that is what i'll be using for this tutorial so whatever version you are using i believe you can still follow up and all the tools are all the same you will still understand it but i will advise you you upgrade to a current version of corel draw so without wasting much time let's go to corel draw so i'm going to open up a new document by clicking here and i'm going to set my color preset to default rgb and i'm going to set this to 10 by 10 inches this is inches here and i believe every other thing is okay so i'm going to click on okay and this workspace comes up so this is what i'll be designing it for why i use 10 by 10 inches is because it's going to be for social media and not a print so it's going on social media handles that's why i use 10 by 10 inches so i'm going to double click on the rectangular tool to get this shape here and i believe you like my new workspace it looks cool the dark workspace looks Ooh, so you can follow it up okay so i'm going to right click here to take off the outline and i give it a white color for the main time so this is the shape i'll be working with then i'm going to give it black remember i'm working with rgb why i'm using rgb is because it's going to be stuff that will be going on the screen on um, social media it will end up on phone laptops and all other stuff we are not printing this so it won't affect for any print so I'm going to click on black just as it is here and I'm going to create this shape with my rectangular tool. I'm going to create this shape like this. Okay, that is square. Then I'll give it a white color and right click here to take off the outline. Then I'm going to click again to get this curve, then drag it to this other side like this then hold here and take it up a little and rotate a little and this is very cool then i'm going to enlarge it by pressing shift and i'm enlarging it like this press shift on your keyboard and right click before you leave so you get this duplicate now i have two of these shapes control z then i'm going to click on this place where you see red uh, slash here you click there and right click on red you can see i have my red outline now i give my outline uh one point i believe this is okay okay let me use uh two points two points is okay then i'm going to reduce it a little and rotate it click again then you get this course and rotate it like this just as you can see i can still reduce it a little again you can see it looks cool okay and i feel like i should make it three points so it pops up very well like this i'm going to show you one trick on what i'll be doing now and i'm going to use my pen to to click here and click here on this other node then double click here by doing so i've been able to create this outline that looks like this i press ctrl z so you can see how it looks like so i'm going to make it three points also just like the one we did before three points here and i'm going to give it red outline also then i'll click on this other shape remember now i have one shape and the outline itself so i'm going to click on the other red shape and press ctrl page down to send it the back by so doing you can see the effect i have here i've been able to send it to the back and 
I have this effect that makes it look as if the outline was wrapped around the white shape just like this. You can see it looks cool this way. I'm going to group it and centralize it by selecting my black shape and press C. So it looks cool. Okay, I'll take it upwards a little. Take it. I'll take it upwards. Okay, then I'm going to type in my. Okay, uh, let me create this shape again. Uh, I'll click on the ellipse tool and create this circle. Then use your pen tool to draw lines like this. Make those lines two points. Data uh, still, we can make it three points. Okay, and make it red color. Okay, then press control on your keyboard and drag it this way. Right click before you leave so you give it a pattern. Then press control D to duplicate those lines. Okay, then press control G to group these lines and power clip it inside the shape by right clicking and dragging to the shape then you see these options you press click on power clip inside so you get this shape like this then click and click on this slash here to take off the black outline then you can see we have made this wonderful shape here then i'm going to bring it down here release it and fix here just like this it looks cool it looks so cool there then I'm going to duplicate it again, right click and drag, then duplicate, that is right click before you leave. I believe by now you should understand that simple trick. When you click, you drag, you right click before you leave, you can duplicate a shape. But if you can't, you can simply use Ctrl D. Okay, let me use the shortcut Ctrl D to duplicate them. Bring it here. Then I want to power clip it inside this shape. So I'm going to right click and click on power clip inside here. Note any other version of Corel Draw you are using, that power clip inside is always on top, but you still see it on that bar. So once you right click, you still see power clip inside. So I'll simply click on it and it's already inside the shape. Then I'm going to enlarge it and bring it to this other direction. Okay, I'm okay with that. So that's where it will be. Then I'm going to create this other shape here also again. And give it red color and right click to take this out. I'll place it here. Alright, this is nice and okay for me. So I'm going to enlarge it again. Okay, I believe that's very much perfect. Then I will type my Black Friday. Black Friday, then I'm going to break this. Okay, and I'll, I'll be using this typeface TT Directors. Okay, TT Directors Demo. That's the typeface, and that's what I'll be using for this Black Friday. Then under it I can type super cell press ctrl k to break the text apart because I want to edit all this text differently so this will be like this all right then I'm going to give this Friday red color and select the three of them and click then drag it to this other direction so it it will be bent like this just like this okay select three and group then enlarge till it fits this shape just like what you can see here looks cool right okay and i will use my pen tool to draw this line like this just to divide a black friday from supercell and i'll give it a uh, three points black okay it looks cool i believe it looks so cool like this then i'll use my pen tool again to create this shape like this okay 
OK and I'll give it red color. Right click to take off the outline. Then I'll duplicate the same shape and drop here. Maybe I can edit this shape like this with my shape tool. I can edit it like that. And this is it here. I think I should edit with my shape tool also. I'll still edit this one again. Alright, I'm okay with this. I'm, I'm happy with this. Then I'll type in here. I, let me enlarge this a little. Then I'll type in here up to. I know you can't see what I'm typing. That's why I'll bring it up here. Up to text, change case to uppercase and give it white color. And I will be using Tahoma typeface here up to and I'll type 50 50 percent and I guess I'll be using uh, TT directors again TT directors again so it will be bold I give it white then I'll duplicate this and type 50 percent off change case to uppercase so this is up to 50 percent off i can centralize the whole circle here with the text so I'll select all and press c so i believe this effect looks cool it looks nice because it's black friday you have to use that black color and red it looks cool because most black friday design is always black and red that's why i use this and use a touch of white okay and let's finalize this design okay i'll type this again graphic design um branding and Printing. Okay, I have to put this as my services. So anyone that sees this advert will know the services I offer and will likely patronize me for my services. And I'm going to make this 16 points. Fine. And okay, I'll centralize that. And I'm going to duplicate this so I can use this typeface to type get in touch okay get in touch then i will likely put my phone number here zero eight zero okay let me use this all right this is my phone number and that will be here then I'm going to do this. Then I'll type T A C apply that terms and conditions apply. Then I'm going to centralize it. Put it here. You can make this. Sorry. You can make this slash to be red. It's part of the design. Looks cool. Okay. Then the last thing I'll do is adding my brand logo because at least you have to represent your brand logo here so people will know the exact brand that is actually doing this Black Friday. Okay, I'll create this shape here. Alright, and I'm going to reduce this a little and bring it here okay then i'll bring my brand logo here and i know most people are not familiar with this particular logo of mine but this logo is my design page logo my page on facebook like my graphic design company logo. okay let's continue our design this is my logo which i'll place here okay 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 i believe this is the end of this design 
so this is the final look of our design with um Gorel Dior 2020 you can see how it looks so cool so this is black friday super sale up to 50 percent of our services graphic design branding printing get in touch the phone number down there and i'll be doing my own black friday as well i'll design a logo i'll design flyer and i'll give you 50 percent of all designs that will be coming up from 20th of this month november till the end of november i'll be giving this discount 50 percent of every design i do for you online thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in my next video